Hi everyone, here we go with a new video. I will talk about this time about SharePoint, more specifically a new feature called Collapsible Sections. This feature allows you to better organize the content in a SharePoint page. This component is also called Accordion. You can better collapse and explode content in the page. A typical use case is a FAQ page, a frequent questions and answers. In this video, I'll show you also a demo how you can set up an FAQ page with the collapsible section and stick around because I'll show you also extra deep at the end of this video. Okay, let's move forward. Here I am in SharePoint and I have this communication site open. I want to create a new FAQ page by using this new component collapsible section in SharePoint. In order to do that, I have to click in the upper left corner on the button New and then Page. Here I will select a blank template and then I will click on Create Page. Let me define a title, it will be FAQ. Then I have to change the image of my background. I will go with stock images. You don't need to have a license for all these beautiful images. Let me just type quotation mark. Let's see what we have here. I like that one, but even this is so nice. Okay, we have this one now. Let me just adjust the focus of this image. Yes, it looks gorgeous. Okay, now then we can start to put content inside this page. By default, you have a first section placed here. Then we can use this section. I can edit this one. And then here I can turn on make this section collapsible. Now I will add a question here and it will be this one. I can even decide if display or not a divided line between sections. And this is my case and then default display expanded, let's say collapsed, and then I will set two columns because I will add a description here and then a YouTube video here on the right. I have now the question here available. I can add a description. Let me go with that one. And here I can search for the YouTube web part. Here we go. I can add a video here. Let me just select again the web part. I will add the link here inside. I have it, this, and then I will close. Here we go, I have the preview of my YouTube video. We can go forward by clicking on the plus button here in order to add a new section. And this will be again two columns. Now, let me edit this section. I will make this section collapsible. I will add my question here and this would be how to manage my passwords online. Then this will be collapsed and then I can close this section now. I can add my description. I think I have, no, I don't have a text web part so I have to add my text web part. I can now paste in my description here. Again, I will use a YouTube video to answer the question. Let me add a link here. Let me close this one. And now in just some seconds, yes, the preview is now available for this other YouTube video. Let me add a third section. And this time will be just one column. Again, edit make this session collapsible. I will add here just a description how to handle files in SharePoint. There we go. It will be always collapsed because when I go in the page, I have an overview of all questions and I can expand the interesting question for me. Then let me close 
this panel I can add now another web part this time I will go with an image I will select let me type in the stock image SharePoint there's nothing maybe I can search something with share let me go with this image insert okay now I have also this other image finally I will add uh, just a short text here some content inside there we go and now I have my question and answer page created I will publish now this page here we go my page is published I have my beautiful FAQ page just set up with all collapsible section here and easy for the user to jump in the right question in order to find the right answer okay now I have a tip for you let's imagine that you don't want to recreate the entire structure of this page but we can reuse this existing structure in order to create a new FAQ page. Now here we have a limitation because we have out of the box something called page templates coming out of the box in SharePoint. That means that we can set this page just created as a page template in order to reuse it for next new pages. However, this page template will be available only for this SharePoint site and this is the limitation that I was, was talking about. That means that if we want to reuse this template for other site, this is not possible. You have always to recreate the entire structure for a new site. I hope that Microsoft will jump in here by bringing a, uh, a new feature here that allows to synchronize page templates tenant-wide for the entire SharePoint sites available in the tenant. Now, let's see how we can save this page as a page template, because I want to reuse the same structure by changing just the content of this page in order to create a new FAQ page. Let me edit now this page. In order to save this page as a page template, I have to come here in the upper left corner, click on the drop down and then click on save as template. Now here there is the message, this is a page template, save it on your site. Now I can click on the wheel icon, I can jump in site contents, let me leave this page let me go in side pages and here we can find a folder called templates clicking on it we can see that this page is now created as a template and so i i have not provided the right name so let me edit page template i can add a name here and this will be faq save page template now it's saved it. now let me go on the home page and when i create a new page i will find this faq page template just created available so this is the preview of my page and i can reuse it for new faq pages all right that was a tutorial how to use collapsible sections in sharepoint if you enjoyed this video please give a like and put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is really how I build my to-do list for my next videos. Then stay tuned, engage with my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.